And back here at home, we're talking about thunderstorms and other kind of storms happening in our area. So when can we see those, Kristen? Oh, really, anytime this afternoon, Lindsay, we're starting to see some of this activity pop ahead of the cold front that's approaching just up into northeastern Ohio. There you see just north of the turnpike and then starting to get a little bit of that moving over into Mercer County and up to the north into Crawford, Erie counties. But as we head through the afternoon, this will all start to move a little bit farther to the east. So after around one or two o'clock, we'll probably start to see this really ramp up. Here you see up into southern portions of Jefferson County, just to the south of Punks Tawny into northern Indiana County. One line of showers moving off to the north and east, and then some lightning up to the north and east there, but that's headed off to the east out of our area. And then to the north of I 80, there you see with that activity that is just really from Meadville down to the southwest, and then a lot of activity up over the border into northeastern Ohio, but it's headed. To the east in about the next 15 20 minutes should cross over into Pennsylvania. A couple of showers starting to bubble down into southern Fayette, Greene counties, down into the Morgantown area, and those will start to ramp up as well. So we do have a severe thunderstorm watch for one county in our viewing area. This is Somerset County, and you can see from Somerset and then areas to the east through State College, Altoona, Bedford, that area is under a severe thunderstorm watch through 8 o'clock tonight, and our severe weather outline, the slight risk area, most of the bullseye is to the south and east of Pittsburgh. So here you see the outline of this storm activity that's bubbling just ahead of the cold front. So two branches of it, one you saw down to the south into uh, West Virginia and one a little bit further north up into northwest Ohio. So temperatures you see staying down into the 70s right now, and here's the location of that front. As it pushes to the east this afternoon, best chance for showers and storms containing strong gusty winds will be after one or two o'clock up until around eight o'clock. So strong straight line winds and some hail are the biggest threats this afternoon. Here's the timing of it with future cast. You see by around two, three o'clock, that line of storms bubbles up, pushes through the area. And then once we lose the heating of the day by around six, seven o'clock, closer to sunset, Everything starts to die out a bit after eight o'clock skies clear and we have a beautiful day on tap for Thursday and for Friday. Just a very, very slight chance each day that we could see a stray spotty shower looks pretty good for Friday night football and looks great for the Steelers game on Sunday. So 77 today scattered showers, thunderstorms possible this afternoon through eight o'clock wind southwest five to ten miles per hour. But when we get those storms bubbling up, they could contain some strong straight line winds. Here's your seven day forecast. By the time we get to tomorrow, we're back up into the lower 80s. Our normal high today is 76. We stay above normal in those 80s all week long for the next seven to 10 days. 82 tomorrow, a stray shower possible tomorrow and at times on Friday, but mainly dry. And the next seven days look sunny, dry, comfy with highs in the lower 80s. Look at that Sunday for the Steelers, sunshine and 82 for the home opener.